I got some updates for y'all. The, the past few weeks have been absolutely crazy and amazing. I've actually been um, spending the majority of the time traveling. I decided to get in my truck and drive about 5,000 miles across the United States. And it was absolutely amazing. I did a similar road trip a few years ago, back in 2019, before I had started business or anything like that. I was basically doing photography as a little side hustle. And a friend of mine basically, uh, we, we drove from Atlanta to Colorado and eventually made our way to San Francisco. In the last video, I talked about, you know, the work just has to be done. It doesn't matter what goes on in your life and everything. And, um, and I was obviously, I was, I was struggling and everything to, to, to get everything done as well as the turmoil going on. And, um, this part of life that I feel like we need to hit on more is actually being able to take some breaks in between. Um, but I will say that was kind of the first break that I've taken since I was probably 20 years old. Um, I'm 25 now. And so from the age of 20 years old, basically to the age of 24, I, I kind of sacrificed my, my life. Uh, I, I, I really did. I, I worked weekends. I worked weeks. I worked just about every day. Um, the longest I can think of to where I went on vacation was maybe maybe two or three days max. Uh, I remember going up to North Carolina with my family for, I think we were there for about five days and I remember working during, during that and that was over Christmas. Um, I, uh, I, I've definitely missed out on a lot and I, I don't regret it. Um, but with that being said, this was, uh, this was well needed. Um, this was really, really well needed. It, it, you know, taking, taking some time away to refresh and get away. Um, it, it, it really, it, it really helps you. I, I, I just finished Patrick Bet David's book, uh, choosing your enemies wisely. And he actually talked about rewarding yourself as you're going in success to where one of his top salesmen, they did like 70 K in one month. And he asked, what'd you do to reward yourself for hitting that goal? And he said, well, you know, nothing. We didn't, we didn't do anything. And it's funny that like the following months, he didn't hit that, he didn't hit that goal. And it was kind of his subconscious that uh, Patrick was saying was, he was like, it's like your subconscious almost is like, well, why are we putting all this work in if we're not able to, you know, get any sort of benefit? And, and so that kind of, that kind of hit me, um, as I was going to where, okay, we, you, they, they, there, there's times for, there, there's times to put your head down and, and, um, and, and push forward. And that's really been, been my, my mindset for the past few years. But once you hit your goals, it's okay to celebrate a little bit. It's, it's okay to, you know, to, to, to breathe a little bit, to, to go spend some money on your awards. Um, I remember when I sold the chef company, I didn't do anything. I, I went out to a nice dinner and, uh, and that was it. That was, uh, that was my celebration and it, and the next business actually backfired, but we literally jumped into the next business before I actually had even received money into my bank account. Like I was so wound up to just like, I just got to jump to that next thing. And, and so, um, and so this was the first time I actually was able to get away and it was awesome. It was awesome. It, it made me refreshed. It's even crazier was this getaway literally was for a business trip. So I don't know how much I technically got away, but taking myself outside of the work and going and doing experiences was enough for me. I'm not the sit by the pool and drink pina coladas all day. I'm the let's go like hike a mountain and stuff type personality. So for me, getting away and taking a break is actually doing something different than working, but going and finding experiences. So on a recap of the trip, it was absolutely fantastic. Started in going up to Atlanta, uh, saw some great friends of mine, Chandler and Scotty. They let me crash at their place. And, and then that next day, I basically just drove straight across the country from Atlanta all the way to the edge of Kansas into Colorado. It was a very long drive, very, very long. And then my dad, the next day, he actually met me out there. We had an awesome weekend together. I got to drive around the Rocky Mountains with him. Um, that was the first time we've ever really done something like that. And then 
from there, I, I went on my excursions to do a bunch of photography. I didn't document this too much because I really just wanted to kind of honestly put my phone down and, and have my own experiences. And, and that's something that I recommend everybody to do. Um, the, the trip ended in Scottsdale um, where we had a we had a mastermind with my friend Lars. We, we had a lot of really awesome entrepreneurs. This is coming from um, people that were building AI technologies to, you know, day traders to people that are in private equity. You know, we got to go, you know, see Andy Elliott's uh, facility uh, with a friend of mine, Jesse. Um, he invited us out. He killed us in a workout. Lars and I, we, we had this goal a little while back of, you know, when you go to masterminds, you're paying $5,000 to, to, to get, to put yourself into that room. And I'm cheap. I don't like paying that much money. And so we both have pretty, pretty strong networks. And we said, let's just create our own. And that's exactly what we did uh, at a very discounted rate. Basically, Lars and I, we don't make any money on it. We basically are just trying to put it on and bring as many, you know, bring like-minded people together. We, we got a awesome, awesome group of about, about 17 people rented a mansion in Scottsdale. It was, it, it was an absolute awesome time. I did break my camera, so that is also another reason for the lack of content. But again, it let me experience it and I got a new camera and that's what I'm filming on here. And I did have to make that drive from Scottsdale back to Jacksonville, which was about 32 hours straight. And that was that was rough. That that was that was definitely tough. It was one of those like mental toughness things, but it was it but you know, we got back um just kind of getting my head back above water from catching up on work from uh from last week but man we got a lot of work coming in it's a lot it is it is a lot i'm i'm so grateful we're back to the grind y'all weekly updates coming coming to you it's 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 gonna get it's gonna get crazy really really soon football season's coming right up we got a ton of content to uh to shoot there i think i have shoots every single day for like the next month as as well as man it's 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 an absolute blessing and i will see you guys in the next video